Hey guys, Dan here with Sterling Self Defense and Badger. All right, trying out a new build I just built. Check it out, new nice silver, super shiny. Armor plate, seven inch smooth bore barrel, mock suppressor, really just for looks. Big bore, not getting any power off the suppressor, but it looks cool, so put it on there. All right, do a CO2 test. Gonna use uh, 12 gram CO2. Uh, let me help you learn. There it is. Eight gram jewels, the usual. All right, first time shooting it. Let's get some numbers. Air it up. I'll air it up. And ready to fire. All right, see what we got. First shot. 432. <laughs> 430. 346, 288, 246, 198, and down. That's all of them. Pretty good numbers. It's 12 grams CO2. She's pretty. That's shiny, that is. It buffed her up real nice. And the new compensator on there with no milling. Nice uh, hoe grip. It's got the full VCAS internals, uh, power bolt kit. So, very nice. And one over here, I gotta test another one. Uh, customer sent in, was having a problem. Now, guys, I know it's tempting sometimes if you can't get a hold of a, uh, a Milsig O ring to try an M17 O ring. Don't. They look almost the same, they're not. They're a lot tighter. Uh, and this guy had a round one he got from some other country. But you don't, you always want to use a square Milsig O ring. Round O rings cause a lot of problems and they pull out super easy. So uh, he was getting uh, auto firing because he had a big dent. You get a little dent on an O ring, it'll start going into auto fire because it can't seal. And that's what happened with this, with that shitty O ring. And it's just auto firing back and forth, back and forth, and actually. Did it so much that he actually uh, bent the top of his release, which I've never actually seen before. And this was a steel release, not a stock one. So very surprising. So I swapped that out, changed that. Uh, he was shooting with a stock barrel. I'm going to uh, try it out with my new rifled tri detent barrels. All right. We have jewels, V3s, magnetic in there. There you go. I'll load up a mag. You know what? No more CO2. I'll just shoot it in uh, one of these. Load this up. Got to order more CO2. Run through 12 gram like crazy. Compensator on. All right, five inch barrel. All right, oh, eye protection. All right, first shot. There we go. Yeah. No, I almost forgot to follow her. I got it. All right, first shot. 288. That's not so good. 278. Oh, my tank's empty. Oh, my tank's empty. All right. Gotta go fill my tank. Well, anyway, I get the point. I'll come back and uh, test that after I got a full tank on it. All right, that's it for me, guys. Uh, see you on the next one and stay safe. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I charged up my tank, shot it again. Numbers were still low. So, pulled it apart, checked the spring. And of course, oh God, I can't see nothing here. Hold on. Oh, millimeters. There we go. You see that? 3108. Joe, short spring. I forgot to check it when I pulled it apart. So now we've got uh, 30, uh, 34.57 in there. One of my new power springs I just put in. 
So we're gonna load it up, see the difference. Got a magnetic uh, barrel in here, so we'll preload one up. And we will load up the mag. Turn the tank back on. Another thing, guys, uh, check your tanks, your tank pressure every once in a while. They do go down, and the more you use them. While I was filling that tank, I just checked it. It's supposed to be setting 1,000, and it was on like 960. So it's working its way down. I got to put a 5,000 shim in there. should bring it right back up to 1,000 when I get around to it. But for this test, not a big deal to be down, you know, 40, whatever, PSI, not a big deal. A lot of guys run just 850 anyway, so it's not a big deal. All right, back up, mirror up, and get the numbers, see what we got. All right, first shot. 352, quite a difference. Oh, come on, follower. Sorry, I had the preloaded one, and I forgot the follower, but I had the preloaded one in there at least. <laughs> You knew at some point I was going to forget the follower. All right, next shot. 352. 352. 350. 354. Oh, God, that is so loud. Uh, I know it doesn't seem that loud, but when you dry fire these things, wow, freaking insanely loud. Well, I should count my freaking numbers and I don't. All right, well, that's it for that. All right, this one's going back out. Remember guys, no M17 O-rings in these. Don't do them, don't use them. They're not good for these. They're way too tight. And, and don't use round O-rings at all because they, they catch too much. You want a square, totally square O-ring. If you look at a an M17 O-ring. It's square on most of the profiles, but the inside one, it's got that little round on it. You know, maybe it's good for the M17, but it's way too tight. You, you run your air chamber and your bolt back and forth with an M17, you'll feel the difference. It's like <clears throat> sticks as you're moving with a regular mill sig. It's a nice tight slide. All right, that's it for me. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe.